Hello, this is a video about um, RefWorks and references and using the um, Purdue OWL website for references as well. Um, so I'll go through a couple different things. So here is the site I have linked for just like anything APA. It's just so great. It's so well broken down. If you look over on the side, you can click on anything that you could possibly need. The general format, in-text citations, footnotes, reference list, a bunch of different kinds there additional resources. And then my favorite is the sample paper. That's what I'm in right now. It goes through um, literally a whole paper and explains every single bit and why it is like that, why it's bolded, why it's centered, why it's on the side. So you can compare to your paper and make sure that you're following the proper protocol for APA. It has saved my life. I honestly went from not knowing what APA was to uh, becoming an expert only because of this website. So very, very helpful. Um, and then let's look at RefWorks. So what you want to do is always start off at the library.ubc.ca website. And then because you're going to be working off campus, you're going to need to be logging in using your SSC login. So usually what I do is I go and like search for whatever paper I'm searching for. I'll just use this one as an example. And then I search. It's going to take me into um, the UBC library here, show my searches, and then it usually says this up here, off campus, log in to access full content. And you say, yeah, I am off campus. So you're just gonna click on that. It's a little annoying because it takes you out of your search briefly, but then it takes you in. So it should take you probably to um, the SSC login, but I'm already logged in on my computer. So it just did it for me. So now I'm in here. This is the paper I was looking for, awesome. So there's a couple ways that you can use RefWorks. I'll show you. So um, if I just, um, I don't even need to read the paper because I know what it is and I'm just looking for the citation real quick. I can just go to these dots, more actions, and then it says export to. And um, you can see EasyBib is in there. There's a bunch of different ones. Um, so if you are more comfortable with EasyBib, you could do that. Um, but I'm really just used to working with RefWorks, so that's what I'm going to show you. So you click on export to RefWorks, and I just find it's really well embedded in the UBC um, user. Um, and then it often asks you, do you want to use the newest version? Yes, you do. Legacy is the old version for people who are still using it. I'm just going to say, don't ask me that again. So it's going to take me there. And usually it'll take you to a login page and ask you to log in. I'm already logged in. You can see my name up here. You can see that it's through UBC library. And now it's asking me if I want to put it in a certain folder. So I have folders for the different um, areas that I'm using. So I might click on the museum critique that I did because this is a museum thing. But this time, just for example's sake, I'm going to say not in a folder. And so it'll just be in there randomly. And I'm going to click import. And just like that, it's going to import all my data from that paper. I click OK. And here we go. You can see the last imported stuff. I was doing this earlier to uh, test it out for this video, but it shows you all the stuff. So there's a few different ways you can work with this in here. One way is you can actually just create your bibliography right out of here. Um, and you can also share folders if you're doing a paper project with someone else, which is nice as well. Go into sharing there. Um, just let me know if you have questions about that. This is where you can make your different folders for various papers. It really helps um, to keep things organized. Um, but now I want to show you how you actually can use these within your paper. So what I do on here is I open a new Google Doc to write my paper. Just click the plus sign. And the first thing that you're going to need to do is actually um, go into add-ons. And you can see I already have the add-on. It's called ProQuest RefWorks. You're going to have to go to get add-ons to do that. Just taking a little bit of time there. And then you'd go here and you would search for RefWorks. And it even populates for me. Okay, and now because I already have it, it says installed, you would install the add-on. So then once you have it, you can actually just go right here and go manage citations and it'll give you an opportunity to kind of log in, um, but I'm always kind of logged into it this way. So it's already here, but you'll just be logging in with your UBC account again when you get asked or prompted. Um, and then this is what you do. So here it says all references. I'm gonna change it to maybe my museum critique articles 
And now I've got all of the ones that I saved specifically for that paper, so I don't have to search through my huge list. And then in settings, I can decide what kind of citation style I want. So I'm writing in APA 7th, um, so I would want to change it to that. Right now it's on something weird, so we're going to go APA, and we're going to go APA 7th, and we just want like regular. Uh, no case changes. Yeah, we'll just do that one. So we change it to APA 7. It shows me a preview. I click update. And so now I know I'm in the right um, formatting that I want. And then basically what I would do is I'm going to start typing something. And then if I want to reference it, I'm just going to go cite this. And so here there's two options. You can either click cite this and it'll immediately do it. So it's formatting putting it in and then what you can see is it creates a reference list right away and it'll create it at the end of your document. So um, right now this is the end of my document but if I just start doing this no harm no foul it's not going to mess anything up. You can do that no matter how much text you add here it will just continue to update down there. So let's do another example now that I've started typing some more. I'm going to start a new paragraph and I'm going to go cite this one. So I'm going to cite this going to do that for me. Formatting. Let's put it in. And now it's added it to the list. It puts it in alphabetical order for you. You can always go through and double check that there's no glitches or any mistakes in there. But for the most part, it is pretty accurate. And so it's just going to continue to update. Even if you change something in your references, you can just go settings, update document, and that's all going to work out. And then it saves. You can see that um, everything is always saved in um, Google Docs. So you're all set for that. And if you close this, no problem at all. Um, the next time you open it, it'll just kind of refresh and try to update anything it can as well, but everything will stay right in there. So as I'm typing, I'm referencing, and the reference list is being created for me. It saves me a lot of time. Now, I believe you can also get RefWorks for Microsoft Word. So if you're more comfortable with Word, let's just see here. Mm -hmm. RefWorks plugins. So I haven't played around with this much, so I won't try and teach you how to do this, but I believe you can just get the Microsoft Word plugin um, for RefWorks, and there should be a pretty easy way to do it. How to do that? Click on the Insert tab. Yeah. So instead of add-ons in Google Docs, in Microsoft Word, it'll be called add-ins, and you're going to get the add-in for RefWorks. So kind of the same process that I just did for Google Docs, but you're going to use it in Microsoft Word if you'd prefer that. Okay. So that's how I use RefWorks. Um, the only other thing I maybe missed showing would be um, at the library website. If you go here, um, you might not have a RefWorks account yet. So you're going to go to this little arrow on the side and go need citation management, RefWorks account login. It's going to take you here and it's going to tell you how to create an account. So um, it says to create it with the newest version, visit this website. And it's actually just going to take you to the website I was in. Um, but I am logged in right now, so it's not going to let me show you. But you're going to need to click on the Create Account button. Let me just see if I can log out and show you. Okay, so in here you can see I've got my alumni um, email there and then a password. But you probably just want to click on this Create Account button. And then you'll start putting in your institutional email. So it'll be like... I believe first name dot last name at alumni.ubc.ca and then you'll be able it's going to check it to make sure that's a real address and then you'll be able to kind of go through the motions of getting your account all set um okay and then last little bit i'm kind of jumping around here but let's just go back to the library for a minute search for that same paper search Make sure I'm logged in. Perfect. Okay. Um, so I can also go into the paper itself now that I'm logged in. Here it is, full text online. So there's a few different parts where you can do it. Here, you can click export citation directly to RefWorks, export, just like I did with the dot, dot, dots before. But you can usually do it from the article in some way as well. Here, download citation. I can click that. And that's going to take me here. And I can do a few different things. Here's like cite this article, but I'm just going to choose RefWorks Direct Export. So there's usually like three different ways that you can easily export um, this. And then you can just go download citations. 
and then it's going to take me right there and it's immediately redistributing me to the RefWorks website, getting me to log in, blah, blah, blah. So lots of different ways to um, get the papers going to RefWorks as long as you're kind of searching through um, the UBC library and they pretty much have everything through here. So I find it really helpful. Okay, I think that is everything for now. Let me know if you get stuck anywhere along the way. I hope it ends up being something helpful for you. I have really enjoyed using it. I find it really, really handy. Uh, okay.